Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Conan Exiles PS4 Xbox PC guide on how to get yourself a tame like these bad boys. We're going to be taming scorpions. I'm going to be showing you how to get the pet scorpions, what's the best uses and what are the chances that you'll get either a little tiddler ones like these or these big, great, big stonking pink things. So make sure you like this video if you think it helps you out. Let me take you through everything you need to know about the newly added scorpion pets. As normal, you're going to need Thrall Taker level 10 feet, and then of course the Apprentice Tamer at level 13. Remember, it doesn't really matter what pen you use, you can use all three of them, but they do make things go a little bit quicker if they're a higher level. So, you need the Scorpion Egg Sacks. There's only one place you can actually get them, and that is from the brand new Scorpion Queen boss they've added into the Silverstone Mine. Head to Grid Reference 623, just there on the board, and you can see it. You'll know you're there as it will come up with the jawbone. Now obviously this dungeon does have a lot of scorpions and it's got two scorpion bosses. One legendary and another just boss scorpion. I have done a guide on this already but there were a couple of things that I didn't let you guys know. One is that you can get iron stone. I missed that deposits in here. This was in the test live server and a lot of places were given iron stone but I didn't see it. And number two is of course you can get a random legendary weapon. I stupidly said that you get the watch blade but of course I forgot it is random what legendary weapon you get. What you do learn in here is the scorpion queen venom. That is a fixed recipe and you'll also earn a special shield by taking out the screen boss. Make your way all the way down, go through these scorpion or spider sort of webs and stuff like that. Keep going all the way down to the end. I like I said, go and check out that guide. It will give you at least a heads up of what to expect in here. But today's focus is really about just how to get the scorpion sacks. And here she is, the scorpion queen herself. She is going to take a substantial amount of damage. I've got some minions nearby as well, so be very careful. It will give you some poison damage occasionally if she manages to land a clean hit. Now you're not always guaranteed to get their scorpion sacks by killing it. There are some chances that you might not. So you'll have to repeat the process, come in here again and defeat her. Make sure you're using a skinning knife to maybe get the best chance. After much waiting on her, I finally defeated her. And as you can see, it's got the scorpion shield. But when I go to harvest it, I didn't actually get any on this first occasion. What you do also get though is a fragment of power which can be used in the historic artifact room or for helping get more feats. So I killed it again and this time harvesting you can see I've got the skeleton key and I will get some of the sacks. Just a little FYI as well I did spawn in a bunch of other scorpions and tested it a little bit more thoroughly and it is only the queen scorpion that gives you the venom. Don't forget to grab the loot chest if you do have a skeleton key in your level 60 and that's the one I said that it gives you the watch blade when it gives you just a random piece. And don't forget to read the recipe so you actually get the Queen Venom feet. So there we go, that's how you get hold of the Scorpion Egg Sacks, only from the Queen Scorpion, which kind of makes sense. So once you've got them, then you can simply pop them in with some food and you'll be able to get hold of your Scorpion. But which one are you going to get? Well, it's all down to what foods you're using and that will give you what percentage you've got of getting the best scorpion rather than just a small tiny one. The worst thing you can use is anything like grubs or insects. If you use these, you're likely to only get 1% chance of actually getting scorpion variant D, which is basically the queen scorpion looking one. Using this is going to give you a 97% chance of getting just a very small scorpion. There are in fact four different types of scorpions. I like to call them the Mini Queen, Mini King, Mini Normal, and the Mini Me Scorpion. So whatever you do, really please don't use insects or grubs, although you can also avoid flesh and putrid meat. If you can't make shade spice foods yet because you haven't done the Jabal Sag Dungeon, which is obviously where you need to go to get hold of the shade spice, then Demon Blood or Abysmal Flesh is going to be your next best bet. You can use any animal pen you want for the scorpion. If you're using abysmal flesh, that's going to give you a 10% chance of getting the mini queen, a 15% chance of getting the mini king, a 25% chance of getting a mini normal, and a 50% chance of getting just a tiny little mini me. Demon blood increases it all a little bit more. It'll give you a 20% chance of getting the, de the mini queen, 30% chance of getting the mini king, 25% chance of getting the normal one and 25% chance of getting a really tiny small one. 
So the best chance to get the Queen one is Demon Blood or Shade Spice Demon Blood. Pretty much all the Shade Spice foods give you extra chance, but it's this one that is going to give you the greatest. 25% chance of getting the Queen Mini Me Scorpion, 30% chance of getting the King, 30% chance of getting a medium, and only 15% chance of getting a small one. So, make sure you've got plenty of demon blood or you've got plenty of shade spice demon blood. You can use grubs, you can use abysmal flesh, insects, human flesh, as well as shade spice corrupted flesh and all the other variations of shade spice, but it really is better to use the demon blood versions. Now, there's a bit of a problem with Conan Exiles at the moment, where the crafting times aren't working correctly, you can't change any of the settings properly. As of recording, the update is in the works. Hopefully it will fix it by the next time. But once you're done, you will have your little collection. Hopefully you've got the chance that you've managed to get one of these, bearing in mind how hard it is to get some of the sacks. If we take a look at the Mini Queen version, 8,000 health. That's why it's so important you try and get that one. Now to be fair, the Mini King has got 8,200. So again, not exactly the worst stats. So comparing the health wise, the Queen and King actually both have the same sort of stats. They both have around 8,000 health. The medium normal Scorpion has 4,000 health. And the little wee ones. Let's go and put this Queen to good use and see what she can do against some of these exiles. You can see it's got the same lunge attacks, exactly the same moveset as the Queen. It does rotate and use its tail. It takes out an exile pretty quickly. And that's exactly what you want to be seeing from this guy. Absolutely brutal. And it won't take too long for this guy to beat Brown Bread. You can see as well it does do poison damage too. Now let's take a look and see what the damage the King one does. So it's got much more pronounced attack with its tail there. And it still does do spin one like the Queen. Does do a fair amount of damage, but maybe not as much as the Queen. And there you go, done. So one swipe takes around 20% health, two swipes 50% health, 375, and with the Stinger absolutely wrecks and finishes the job. So they're both pretty good, it's more about the look of it having the Queen as your companion rather than one of the others. For sure getting a bunch of these is going to be the equivalent of getting the Sand Reapers. Having these outside your base is definitely going to be a great defence. And the small ones, although they look a bit redundant, hey, it's better than nothing. So if you want a brand new pet, something a bit unusual, go and grab one of these. The sound they make is horrendous though, it's really creepy when they're just chittering away behind you. So there we go, that is everything you need to know about scorpions. How to tame them, the chances of getting them, and how useful they are going to be in combat. Just a little FYI as well, if you do use Shade Spice Demon Blood, you get around 2,000 experience by getting one of these guys. So it does give you that as well. And if you are putting them in a pen for whatever reason, the only thing they're actually going to produce is dung which is a bit of a shame it doesn't produce something like some sort of poison. Don't forget also, if you're looking for the specialty foods, you don't really need to worry. It says it on the description box inside the creature. They move pretty quick. They'll be good as inventory. I would totally be scared if I saw a player coming along with one of these behind him. I am Jade. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to come and join my Conan servers, if they're still live, come and join Discord. Ask to get access. You'll be given a special role and you'll be able to see the secret chat. This will have the password to the server. It is PvP. Or if you want to play on this server, my content server where I make these guides and I do events with patrons, then take a look at the description box down below and see how you can support the channel. 
If you've got any ideas about content you'd like to see more of, do you want to see more about the pets? Do you want to see top 10 videos of the weapons or the frills? Let me know in the comment section what you would like to see more. Until next time, Rat Bags, I am Jade. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and make sure you've got notifications turned on. And I'll see you, Rat Bags, for another Conan Exiles video very soon.